Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. What do you think, girls? Do you wanna show everybody what we're getting ready to do in here? Memphis is like, yeah, there's treats in there and we're gonna make treats. We are making granola bars for dogs because we're going camping next week and we thought it would be a fun video to make some little trail mix bars, granola bars, whatever we wanna call them, for dogs. So if you guys wanna see how it's made, this is pretty much everything that's going in it. And actually, as long as I get the videos edited the way I'm supposed to before I leave tomorrow, that video is gonna go up on the dogs channel today. So if you aren't subscribed to our other channel, which is youtube.com slash gone to the snow dogs, that's where you will see how to make some granola bars, trail mix. I don't know what we're gonna call it. Something like that for dogs. Hey, excuse me, ingredient thief, get down. Thank you. <laughs> Memphis is like, hey guys, that's my job. That's my job. Would you like a piece? Gee, how did I know? This is gonna be one of those treats where I don't think Shelby's gonna eat it, but you never know. She might surprise me. There's blueberries and cranberries and coconuts that's going in this. You think you'll like it? I didn't think so either. But we'll find out. So what have we made? A mess. Say, so we have made a mess. Wanna try some? You cannot eat the spatula. Goodness me. Let's see here. Oops, I bought, I got, it's on your face. You got, you got some, there you go, it fell off. Let's see if Shelby will try it. I don't know if she will. She didn't want any of the fruit. She didn't, she's like, I just want a nap. You wanna try this, Shelby? You look interested. She's like, maybe I am. Look out, puppy, we're gonna let Shelby, we're gonna let Shelby try. We're gonna let Shelby try. Wanna try it? No, we like it better when it's cooked. She's like, guys, I like it better when it's cooked. Okay, you don't have to try it. Stop trying to eat everything, goodness me. So the granola stuff turned out pretty good. I'm cutting it into squares. Memphis ate one, Kira ate one, Shelby ate one, but she didn't eat it till after like they both ate theirs and then I brought her back inside and she was all by herself and then she decided, I will eat one as well. So I don't think she likes them necessarily, but she wants to eat them so the other two can't have them. <laughs> So while those were cooking, I actually went downstairs and recorded the podcast for this week because I'm leaving for two days and then I come back and I have to go across state for a day and then I have to record another podcast and then we're gone again because we're going camping. So we're trying to get a little bit ahead, which has not been easy. For those of you that don't know, you can find it at ccmousepodcast.com. Now I have to pack because I have to leave at like, I think I'm leaving the house here at 8.30 tomorrow morning is the plan. I'm gonna go pick up my mom and then pick up my aunt and we're gonna head up north and James is gonna stay here and watch these puppy dogs. Yeah, what do you think of that? Sound good to you? I swear, in like five more days or something, you'll get to go too. Sound like a deal? Actually, you get to go with me on Tuesday over to the nutritionist to see if we can get you some diets figured out. What do you think of that? Yeah, I'm actually doing that. Tuesday, Shelby and I are going to Traverse City and we're gonna go see a holistic veterinarian who is also a nutritionist and she's been a nutritionist for like 26 years. We're gonna see if she can give us some advice on things that we could possibly feed Shelby since she doesn't seem to like barley and rice and she just wants meat. So we're gonna see if we can have her help us kind of figure out what we should be feeding her. What do you think, Shelby? Shelby's like, wait, you're gonna cook me food for forever? Girl, I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to get you to eat. Sound like a plan? She's like, I ate today, guys. Oh, hi, hi, puppy, hi. And you ate a treat. You did, you ate a little treat. And you ate, you ate your breakfast. Yeah. She's like, I'm ready for a nap now, guys. It's nap time. Okay, I'm gonna get stuff ready. You guys go do your thing. So a couple of weeks ago, Jamie and I decided to do one of those 23andMe things just for fun. And we thought before we look at it, cause we haven't looked at them yet, we would both kind of guess like what our nationality or heritage or whatever is. The only thing I, think I know for sure based on what my parents have told me is probably Austrian, German, and possibly American Indian. Other than that, I have no idea. Like those are the only ones that pop into my head when I think about it and I go, I know I've been told that at some point in my life. So those are my guesses. So Jamie's looking at a map while he's thinking hard about his answer. Right. <laughs> Definitely north of Spain, so I don't know, Norway. Well, we know or that Norway. we we know Norwegian because we do a lot of like at Christmas time. Your family makes a lot of Norwegian snacks. 
Right. Anywhere else that you possibly can think of? Uh, like from your dad's side? Yeah, Native American maybe. Right? Uh, a small percentage of, I, I thought it was, if they even know the tribe, I don't know if they'll know the tribe, but I think it was Shoshone. That's what you've told me before was Shoshone. Yeah. Yeah, where so I think, I'm not, not necessarily sure where they're at. Right, and I think mine was Cherokee, but I'm not sure. Yeah. And, right. uh, other than that, um, their nationality, gosh, Poland. <laughs> right, so you might be Polish. I might be. We don't know. I don't know. We're gonna look and find out. Hold on. And yes, I'm making brownies. Right. Somebody's making brownies. I don't know, I just wanted them for some reason, so I bought them. Okay, so I have them on my phone. I didn't print them. All I can see is it says, find out what you're made of. Sugar and spice and all, that's nice. <laughs> Isn't that what little girls are made of? Mm, sure. Well, that's the answer. <laughs> Before I look, do you have any other guesses for me? No. I put you on really. the spot with that one. Yeah, not really. I'm looking. Whoa. 43% of your DNA suggests that you are British and Irish huh. with ancestry from four other populations. Really? Huh. Interesting. I'm so it says I'm 93% Northwestern European. Right, right, right. British and Irish, 43.4%. German, 25%. And it actually says Germany. Scandinavian, 6.5%. Yeah, because yeah, you knew your one grandma. Is from Austria. Yeah. Uh, Finnish, 0.8%. Yeah, that would have been another guess for me. Well, wait, I, yeah, Finland. Yeah. <laughs> uh, broadly, Northwest, Northwestern European, 16.8%. And it says 4.8% so, Eastern European. So okay. we can probably plot that to a map in during certain eras and certain time periods where where people had migrated from that continent to this continent and you can pretty much see where where and when they came. Pretty much says I'm British and Irish. Hmm. Doesn't say anything so about probably, Native American at all. You were probably one of the first people to come over to the this country. Because I think the Brit Brit I mean were weren't the British the ones to kinda of fight for it? Maybe. I don't know. That's very interesting. Americans fought for it. They were British people. They uh, okay. <laughs> I was <listening> to <laughs> Hmm. So now. Now it's your turn. That's interesting. So. It's not what I would have guessed. So you're reading me? Or no? Uh, do you want me to read you? Uh, no, I can read me or it don't matter. Okay, you should read you. Uh, okay. While she tries to explain to me how to read it, I'm just going to tell her to read it. Okay, you just want me to read it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, ready? Switch profiles. Ready? Do I have any other guesses? I still think German for you somewhere in there, but I have no idea. You're hey, excuse me, ma'am. Get down from the sink. She likes brownies. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, wow. All right. 28% of your dia ancestry DNA is British and Irish. <laughs> <laughs> British and I. Twenty. Wow, we literally come from the same area. Ninety. You're ninety percent Northwestern European, with twenty-seven point nine percent being British and Irish, twenty-seven point three percent being Scandinavian, Norway slash Sweden. <laughs> Are we recording again? Well, so the battery the just battery died, died. So if you didn't figure that out. So I think we were at the Norway and Sweden. So you're. We were. Twenty-seven point three percent Norway and Sweden, which we knew. Fourteen point four percent. French and German. It 14%? says Switzerland, France, and Germany. And then you're 20% broadly Northwestern European. Oh, all right. 8.8% Eastern European. And then you're 0.2%, 0.2% Ashkenazi Jewish. But it, nice. That explains a lot, but. <laughs> Point two percent. I don't think but it, it doesn't, too much. Yeah, right, it doesn't uh, break out any Indian tribes or anything no, of that nature. No, mine huh? didn't either. That's weird. I that's what I said. That's interesting. And I've seen where they've said Native American, so that's 
It's interesting. Now you know. Yep. Now I know. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Right. Oh. Now we're gonna look through this so, a little bit more. I was gonna say, so do we get like we'll maybe we'll have to like do ancestry next. That yeah, I wanna do another one and see what it says. Yeah. See how, how close how close it is. Yeah, because ours says we're twenty blah 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 some percent blah yeah. blah blah, but we're one hundred percent United States CN. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's very that's interesting. very interesting. See look battery died. <laughs> All right, we're gonna look more at this. So that was kind of interesting. I think it wasn't exactly what we thought it was gonna be. So we're gonna have to do maybe one of the other ones and see how that turns out. But the sun is setting and it's looking beautiful outside, so we are gonna go take the dogs for a walk. You wanna go for a walk? Oh, oh man. Oh, you wanna you're go for serious. a walk? I know I already. Kira, you wanna go for a walk? Oh, was that I a head, head tilt? You wanna yeah. go for a walk? Kira, wanna go for a walk? Wanna go for a walk? Yeah, come on, let's go. Yeah. She was listening. She's, she's learning. Are you learning? Yeah. She's a learning. Oh my gosh, was that great? Did you enjoy that? Did you have a fun walk? We should have put your LED colors on because it got dark before we got home. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was fun, huh? I'm going to miss you girls tomorrow night. I'm going to miss all of you. I'm going to miss you girls. I'm going to miss your daddy. It'll be fun, though. A little bit of rock hunting one night away. Should be a good time. Oh my goodness, I yawned as soon as I hit record. These girls are already ready for bed. You ready for bed, Shelby? You glad you got your pillow? It's like, guys, I got my pillow. I ate some good dinners. Went for a W-A-L-K. Look at you. <laughs> I love you so much. You're such a diva. Oh, my diva dog. Anyway, I have to get up really early tomorrow morning. I just got some stuff done. I'm only going to be gone one night, but I still have lots of stuff I have to do before I leave. So I think I got everything done. Jamie will have a camera to film the dogs while I'm gone overnight tomorrow. And yeah, we're going to bed so I can get up early tomorrow morning. <sighs> All right, you guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big. We will see you again soon. Good night, audience. Look at that face. You're so cute. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride All you have to do is hit subscribe Follow as we share our lives with our dogs And join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs